So we're over at Unit 941. I saw this before I came over here, and uh, it's a 4-3, um, 1,600 square feet, top floor. The penthouse is right there. So we're not far from the penthouse. You know, the other pool is right down that, that way. The beach is down that way. Those are the other two buildings. So you kind of know where we're at. I just thought, you know, this is 300. So maybe we take a look at it and see, um, see what it's like. So that's why we're here. All right, so this is unit 941, top floor unit, about 1,600 square feet, four bedrooms, three full bath. Um, so we just walked in, it's gonna feel a little bit more constricted, but I don't know that you couldn't sleep almost the same number of people in it. Um, it comes close and you're spending much less. So as soon as you come in, this is the front door right here, we we're just standing. Here is the laundry, it's a full size laundry, which is nice. And as soon as you come in, you're, you have your kitchen and your living area to, to, to the uh, left. So I'm gonna have Jessica kind of pan around and show you the kitchen and, and what it looks like uh, from ways away, kind of get an idea. And the living area is just past that. So the kitchen, uh, you know, some differences from the last one. Again, we're talking about three hundred dollars less, or three hundred thousand less. So that's pretty significant. But it has real nice granite, has a nice bar, uh, still has a place for people to eat and dine. At, at the kitchen, undermounted stainless sink. It doesn't have stainless appliances, but they're nice, just regular two-door fridge. Plenty of cabinet space. Right down there, I'll have Jessica just stay there. I didn't show this but this is your coat closet. And if you need a pantry, that's what they've done with theirs, is make a pantry. So that's kind of what I was talking about in the last, uh, the last unit. Um, if she pans up, you'll see the balcony up there. There's another uh, suite, bedroom suite up there. Then you have the dining table right here, which it isn't really uh, protruding too much. I would say hang a TV up and get rid of this this uh, entertainment stand right here. It would open up a lot of space for your dining area. And the ledges are known for having kind of dining area done like this. Uh, but again, you got four stools there at the bar. The living area has plenty of space uh, for table and, and everything. They're not using their fireplace. I'm gonna guess that the, uh, I'm gonna guess fireplace is wood fireplaces are not allowed to be used in this complex. So when we, when we come in, you can go upstairs to that suite, down through the master right here, or you go down a hall. It's kind of like a small house, it feels like. So on the right, you have a, a full hall bath. Pretty nice. Little uh, pantry in here. This is basically under the steps, but uh, it could probably be done a little bit better than it is. And then you have two bedrooms here. I'll take you to this one right here. This is a smaller bedroom, but it, they don't have any light kits on the fans. That would make a big difference in this in this house because when you come in, if, if the blinds aren't open, uh, it's really dark. This is a small bedroom. I would say in one of these bedrooms, if this was my rental unit, then I would definitely have uh, some bunk beds so that uh, I can sleep a couple more. And then there's a, a pretty big closet. So over here you have, uh, this room is much bigger, king size bed, plenty of natural light, no light kit on the fan, really needs it. It's got a shed ceiling, so it gives it a little bit more um, room. And I think this closet's a little bit smaller. I'll let Jessica show that to you. Again, coming down here with the master, it has a shed ceiling. And this is a large room. It's got a king size bed, end tables, still plenty of space in here. 
for whatever you need. They have a large dresser here. Um, this is a real nice room, it really is. And then uh, your closet over here. It's a walk-in. And they have, you know, not only they have the sliders, but they put a window over here on this on this shed wall. And then the bathroom's plenty of space. It's got uh, dual sinks, real nice. So the master suite's really nice. Now I'm going to have Jessica go over and just kind of show you the view from the suite. Uh, it, it's not really any different than the penthouse in my opinion. So that was three bedrooms and we're going to go up to the fourth bedroom. and. It actually is a private bedroom. It's not like a loft, which is just pretty nice. Nice little bathroom. This room has plenty of space. They've got a queen size bed in here with two end tables, but you could easily get rid of one of the end tables and put a, this would be a great room probably for a uh, bunk bed. You know, a queen on the bottom, twin on the top, you're, you're sleeping three in this room right there. And then it's got a nice window here with, with a little bit of a view. Like, like the loft in the penthouse, uh, there is a closet, but they're, it's an owner's closet. It's locked, so they're using that for their linens and stuff like that. So uh, this is a pretty, pretty nice little bedroom. Watch, your, uh, watch this table here, Jess. Don't hit your leg on it. So uh, the deck's got plenty of space. It's obviously not as big as the penthouse, but uh, it's probably 10 feet deep and I'm gonna have Jess just step over here real quick. Here, let me just see this, I'll show. show you the dock is. So that's the dock where the penthouse had the, uh, the slip. The penthouse is over there. That dock right next to it is where the slip is for this uh, this condo, and you can refer to the MLS sheet that I gave you uh, for the size of the slip and everything. So this is not covered; it does not have any kind of uh, any kind of canvas that comes out like the other one, but it definitely has just as good of a view, almost. I just want to throw this in because it seemed like compared to the penthouse it's a real value and it's something to consider you know uh, you figure you know how many can you sleep in here their couch I checked that it's not a fold out so there's two there you know two in each room except for one there's three so you can sleep quite a quite a number of people for 300,000 and, and not that many less than the other one the only thing you're getting from the other one is um, you know a little bit of luxury but you just have to kind of weigh that so uh, hope this helped and I'll get this uploaded to YouTube for you.